quick video. <clears throat> Artificial intelligence and real skills. Let me tell you something. Uh, I'm watching this chat. GBT, don't know. Didn't download the app. Never used the app. Uh, I'm watching uh, these technology jobs uh, and automation when it comes to warehousing, which um, a lot of low-income people work. I'm watching uh, a lot of customer service jobs, which a lot of low-income people work. I'm watching um, a lot of trucking jobs, which low-income people work. These are not very much high-paying job, uh, jobs. And uh, this is uh, these are the jobs that the majority of minorities uh, populate. Trucking, customer service, warehousing jobs, Amazon jobs. And then we're seeing automation and artificial intelligence come into play. And what we're going to see over the next few years is trucking jobs vanish. Uh, customer service jobs vanish because this uh, artificial intelligence, this chat GBT, whatever they call it, they can answer and respond to questions from customers just like that. Uh, you see these robots uh, replacing warehouse jobs. They can they can do all of those jobs because it's something repetitive and consistent. It's something that is not very dynamic. Uh, it's something that uh, does not take a lot of skills. It's something that uh, a, a computer program, uh, I artificial intelligence to somebody or well, something uh, can replace. But the one thing that I have yet to see technology and artificial intelligence and automation uh, be able to replace is how to cut out old sheetrock uh, and replace it with some new sheetrock, how to run some water lines, how to uh, lay down tile and cut all of the intricate details on the floor, um, how to install a bathroom tub or shower to client specifications, how to put on uh, metal roofs and, and, and all of the intricacies that goes with that, how to build something custom that the client wants the way in which they want it, how to uh, put down laminate flooring uh, with all of the intricate details uh, that it entails, um, how to build a greenhouse. See, the, all of these things, artificial intelligence will not be able to do. Um, how to repair something, uh, how to repair something uh, broken. See, they're not going to be able to do any of this. And this is why I say over and over and over again, real skills, because these jobs cannot be replaced by artificial intelligence. Um, to go in and replace your alternator on a car or to fix a small engine, uh, the technology is simply put is just not there yet to replace these kinds of jobs because what I do is very dynamic and uh, sure can the technology in the future you see all of these advanced robotics um, uh, possibly in the future but I just don't see it happening right now with the current level of technology and this is why we focus and we stress over and over again, real skills. Because uh, as a lot of people begin to lose their jobs, i.e. trucking jobs, customer service jobs, warehouse jobs, uh, they don't need those people anymore. And what are these people going to do? What are these people going to do? Uh, but if you have real skills, you don't have to worry about that because uh, you can't call up a robot as of yet to come and put in your water heater, uh, uh, run, run some water lines, put in some tile, uh, design a custom bathroom the way that you want, uh, reinstall your kitchen, fix your appliance. Uh, technology is not going to be able to do this. Now, as I see it in the near or midterm future, sure, can they probably possibly just like, you know, um, uh, you know, some type of Optimus Prime type of um, robot? Sure, you know, uh, but listen, they're not going to be able to do it. Ooh, no time in the near future. Time, long day. Looking forward to the Sabbath. But this is why we stress over and over again, real skills. Because when you have real skills, 
uh, technology is not going to be able to easily replace you. This is why I understand clearly there's a war on people that know how to be independent of the system, know how to grow their own food, know how to uh, uh, work with their hands, know how to uh, uh, barter, know how to, um, uh, you know, do things independent of the system. And they hate that because they want total control. So uh, if you want to hold out for as long as you possibly can, can, develop some real skills, develop the ability to be debt free and financially independent. Uh, develop the ability to uh, grow your own food and raise your own livestock because when you're able to do that, uh, all of these things become more and more relevant. The tyranny of men become more and more relevant because you know how to produce for yourself. So a word to the wise. Learn how to get real skills because let me tell you, it does so much more than pay the bills. Um, uh, It gives you that peace of mind and that security to know that and despite what's going on in this world, uh, you don't have to deal with the tyranny of this of this tyrannical, satanic system that they are building up. You don't have to worry about uh, uh, you and your family going into bondage. Because why? Because you're able to produce for yourself. Um, but that's pretty much it. Real skills. And you don't have to worry about AI and artificial technology. Um, you just simply don't. All right. Bye.